Jennifer and welcome to my Flagstaff home. Flagstaff is a really artsy kind of a town. When you walk around in the downtown area, both on the north side of the railroad tracks and the south side, you'll notice that there are art galleries everywhere. And uh, we have festivals, we have in the summer, we have art in the park on certain weekends. So you'll just be walking around and see art everywhere you go. But the cool thing about Flagstaff also is that not all of the art here is framed and on walls in galleries or behind displayed behind glass. We have lots of art in the form of murals. And so I, I went around the other day and was filming the murals that I could think of and then I was running into more that I had never seen before. You can see them on the sides of buildings that are in parking lots, on streets, and even in alleys. So I'm gonna take you on a little tour today and show you some of the artistic creations in the form of murals that are around the downtown area of Flagstaff. So I hope you'll come along. This is the first mural I recorded. It's off of Route 66, kind of by Martans. It's in the parking lot. And I have no idea who did that part of the mural. The next one, though, um, with the bird, I found out was um, like Corey Miller. He signs it Corey B, and um, we've actually we have actually bought a painting of his. He's a a young guy, and we're friends with his family, so that was pretty impressive. And then even over on this next rock building, I'm not even sure uh, what the building is, but it has. Um, it just has a painting that's like over a window. Then there's a tiny little one there too on the right. Griffin one was a little one. This is um, appropriately located on the side of a building of a company called Absolute Bikes. And so it's kind of kind of neat that they've got a kid on a bike. He's got band-aids on his elbows and knees. And um, so that's a, a neat one. You know, it's hard to, it's hard to get some of these shots without having cars in the picture. And that's of the nature of murals because they're on the sides of buildings and in parking lots and alleys and and there are cars parked there and so they sort of block the view i love this angle right here with the there's a kid in the car uh peeking out at the guy on the bike and then as i move over a little bit closer i get the name of the artist who i believe is lyle motley This is on the side of a building of Jeff Carl Jewelers that's also on Route 66. And then on sharing that parking lot is a, like a mechanic shop or something. So here this, here's this really great mural. And this is done by Griffin One. I looked that up, griffinone.com. He's done a couple of the murals in our town. It's got a really interesting, unique art style. As we come back around to the side, my mom wanted me to make sure that I got the, um, the tree at the end, which is just kind of bringing the, the art right up against nature. This is on the back side of the building by Martans. It's in an alley, and this is also Corey B., and that's Corey Miller. I believe his website is Corey Miller Arts. Love the style of this art, and it's so varied too, these different works of art. And that's kind of neat. 
This is no longer your world, it's our world. This uh, we just discovered in an alley. <laughs> it's kind of by the patio at Criollo. And got a luchador there. And then that even that door, if you look in the bottom corner and across the middle, it has um, artwork on the door. This is across from Starlight Books on LaRue, and it's a big NAU mural. It shows all different aspects of NAU, the lumberjack, cheerleaders, um, athletes, uh, science, science programs. You can see, well, I'll move over here so you can see um, Old Main. Just, I just think it's a really neat view of NAU. It looks like there's a, a truck pulling a float there. But just a really neat view of, of NAU and all of its components. Across from this mural is this next one I'm going to show you, which this used to be called the Piano Room, and I, I believe it's out of business now but it just shows all of these people from the 1800s and this was supposed to be kind of reminiscent of a speakeasy when the company was still in business so this I imagine was supposed to go along with that. <laughs> this is um, in the eating area outside of Diablo Burger which is right on the square in the downtown area and this is a painting by Joel so or Joe Soren He's got a really interesting, unique way of creating his characters. A little bit distorted look to the people in his paintings. This is Griffin 1 again. And this is on Birch and Beaver Streets, I think. It's got a real unique style. And then I'm going to pan around so you can just see. Here's this beautiful mural, and it's just on a building in a parking lot. This, I, I'm thinking this is empty right now, that building, it was, it's been several restaurants. This is on the back of the Lumberyard Brewery, and um, it's, that says uh, Flagstaff America's Highway. This was painted as kind of a way to kick off the rejuvenation of the south part of the downtown area. And then this one is on Greek Island's restaurant, and it was interesting because when we came over to get it, we realized that it's um, it's not finished, and so a company called um, Mural Mice is painting this one. So it just shows that murals are all over the place, but they're also always in progress, too. Well, there you go. Isn't that amazing? There were several pieces of art on walls that I didn't even get a chance to film. I was gonna come back later and, and get some of those, but I didn't. So there are even more in the downtown area to see. So if you're in Flagstaff and you happen to be in the downtown area, in addition to going into shops and eating at great places and and taking in the sights, be sure to look at the walls and be sure to check out all of that great mural art that is everywhere in downtown Flagstaff. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again. Bye-bye.